Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, Landsat Tools uh, software to decode the information that comes with a Landsat uh, multiband image download from Glovis and enable that data to be used with a GIS package to calculate and derive other information such as uh, radiance, reflectance, NDVI and temperature and so on. So the first thing we need to do is get a copy of uh, Landsat Tools and it's from the UKScience.org website and if you click on the software tab uh, there's a, a, a number of different software packages which are completely free of charge um, and amongst them is the one called LS Tools or Landsat Tools which is for Windows and you just click on that and download it and uh, run it, uh, the, the installation package and what you end up with is a, an icon like this which if I run Landsat Tools it should come up with the main screen and that's what Landsat Tools looks like now I've already, I'll just minimize that, I've already downloaded if you watched a previous video um, from uh, Glovis a particular uh, package of files which is for New Zealand so this is what you get when you uh, have actually downloaded and used something like 7-zip to untar those particular images. You get uh, this collection of uh, GeoTIFF images, one for each band, but crucially there's a text file and there's a text file that comes with the images with an underscore NTL file extension and if you open that in text editor it doesn't look very friendly um, that's because it's actually in Unix format so there are no end-of-line characters so uh, it, it looks a bit higgledy-piggledy with all of the uh, information in that file um, not very easy to read um, now you can just convert that into an MS-DOS file uh, with any utility that you can find on the internet but the uh, Landsat Tools software will actually go one step further. Uh, so if I open uh, that particular file, which is in the um, the download folder that I just had, that's the one I'm looking for. What the software will actually do is it will read in all of the calibration data for that particular image scene, and it will decode it. Um, so it's telling me that it's Landsat 8, it's, the image was acquired on the 15th of December 2014 and it gives me the, the scene center latitude and longitude, uh, the Earth-Sun distance in astronomical units, the quality of the image, the solar azimuth elevation and it calculates from those the solar zenith angle as well, uh, tells me the, the map, datum type and so on. The important things, which if you've used Glovis uh, raw band channel data before to calculate things like NDVI uh, or temperature, are contained here in the calibration data section. So it's got the um, radiance uh, offsets and it's got the reflectance offsets and it's got the constants that are used in the equations to calculate temperature. Now normally you'd have to take that and put that into uh, plug those values into an equation yourself but the purpose of this software is that it actually does it for you so you select uh, any one of the different bands of course there are 11 bands available um, for uh, Landsat 8 images and it will give you the equation that you have to put into either the model maker in Erdas Imagine or if you're using ArcGIS or QGIS or something like that then it gives you the, the equation that will go into that software, into the raster calculator uh, to calculate something. So uh, what we can do is, for example, with channel 10 is temperature. Uh, that's the equation that would be required in the raster calculator for uh, ArcGIS to calculate the, the temperature uh, in Kelvin. And there is a, a function here on the right hand side of each of these for radiance, reflectance and temperature to just copy to the clipboard and if you were to then go into the software you could just paste that directly into the uh, Erdas Imagine model maker or 
the uh, ArcGIS uh, raster calculator. If you want to know what that equation comes from, there are these helpful information buttons which have basically been taken from the documentation provided by uh, the USGS. So for radiance, for example, uh, this is the official equation for calculating radiance, um, and that's all this software does. It basically substitutes the data from that MTL text file that came with the Glovis data, and it puts the correct values into the accompanying equation. So, for example, for temperature, you've got two constants, K1 and K2, the natural logarithm, uh, and basically you put that into uh, your expression and process that in, in uh, either ERDAS, ESRI, ArcGIS, or, or QGIS, and it will produce those products for you. Um, also, it'll just show and remind you what the uh, some of the equations are to calculate things like NDVI. So NDVI is the near infrared minus the red uh, divided by the two added together. And this will show you the difference between Landsat's 5 and 7 and Landsat 8, uh, which of the particular band numbers that we need to substitute into that equation. Uh, and similarly, the modified normalized difference water index, if you're looking at surface water anomaly, uh, it'll show you the equation there, which is using green and middle infrared, because the middle infrared of the spectrum is very sensitive to water and uh, water vapor. Uh, so you can actually put values in there and click on calculate, or it's just a, a useful aid memoir for, for, for actually deciding which of the specific bands you're going to need to process uh, here in order to generate the products that you need later on. Um, the other buttons that you see here are, uh, there's one just to take you to the Landsat documentation uh, on the, the uh, USGS website. Um, and you can see here that there's a whole load of information about Landsat. Uh, there's one which uses uh, for each particular image that you, you're looking at uh, the MTL data file for, uh, it'll show you a Google map for the center of the scene. So we, this is New Zealand, so it should come up with a map of New Zealand. And there we can see that uh, we're, we're just where we should be uh, near the southwest of New Zealand, because that's the center of our scene. Um, there's also a direct link here to Glovis itself. And if you want some of the technical information about the specific bands uh, for Landsat and what each of those uh, scene band numbers represent, there's a, a helpful table here that shows you uh, what each of the, the 11 bands in this example for Landsat 8 represent. Uh, and if you've downloaded from Glovis a slightly older image, pre-Landsat 8, uh, maybe 5 or 7, then it shows you what the, the band numbers there represent as well, so you know which of those you need to include in your uh, expression equations here for looking at NDVI, or surface water, or radiance, or reflectance. So that's all this tool does. It just makes it very easy to uh, extract the data contained within that MTL file, uh, which is this one that comes bundled with your, your GeoTIFF files from Glovis. Uh, it also creates an MS-DOS version, which now, if you open it in text editor, will make much more sense when you read it. And your other option, of course, is just to copy and paste values directly from this into the expressions in your GIS software. Uh, or, of course, the advantage here is that it generates those expressions for you and allows you just to copy them to the clipboard and then paste them directly into your raster calculator or your model maker. So that's a quick look at uh, Landsat tools. Um, let me know what you think, and if you need any updates or uh, any any bug fixes or changes to this, just go back to the ukscience.org website where you can get the latest version.